<clears throat> hey there everybody, this is Florian350, back with another CCLP3 links video, which is, that was kind of a weird introduction, but anyway, uh, we're on my circuit for something, which is a pretty long level that I'm not looking forward to playing, but we're here, and we gotta deal with it, so let me get that out of the way, and let's play. So, as you can see here, you might already know how this level works. You get blocks out here from this mouse formation, which, honestly, I'm, I like, like, okay, so as I said in the last video, at the end of it, I like this level as a concept. However, I think this level is more geared towards the mouse the design out of the blocks than the level itself, unfortunately. <clears throat> Which is, you know, strange. But it is what it is. Also, this ball right here is completely point useless. So... Just there to be an annoyance. And this is a pie guy level because, yeah, nicer grip or something. So, speaking of pie guy, apparently tonight, uh, the 28th of March, he released the new bold solution. That was stupid. I, I forgot I had a block over here. Oh, well, I can still recover from it, so not a big deal. He, yeah, he released the, the bolt, the new bolt to auto, auto guild. I've never, I never knew how to pronounce that. I think it's ort, orto guild or something. It's an anagram for toggle wall without a, a, a G. Yeah, it's missing a G. Okay, so I'm going to remember this to go go back to that block this time, because I, I can't afford to mess this up again. Which is kind of strange. He didn't report his time in increment from it, which is kind of strange. But, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it kind of happened a couple hours ago, so who knows? He... Hope maybe by now when this video is uploaded, he's actually reported the score. I don't know. In other news, uh, we recorded the podcast earlier tonight, which was a ton of fun. Uh, the podcast for top ten levels only we seem to like, and this consists of JB, myself, and Andrew Menzies joined, which was fantastic. Uh, it was a ton of fun. I want to say it was more fun than the first one. And I say that because I, you know, this this was my second time doing it. So I, I kind of got gotten used to doing it. So, yeah, it was a ton of fun. It was a little, around the same time as the first one was roughly two hours long. Uh, but before the podcast started and whatnot, uh, JB actually informed me or talked to me about uh, a question I asked earlier in this LP, which is, why is Once Upon a Troubledore level 50 in this set? Yeah, he has been meaning to answer that in a comment, but I, don't, I guess he hasn't gone around to it. But he answered it over a Skype call, which I, I, wasn't getting, I didn't get the answer I actually expected. Um, from what I, from what I remember, and I shouldn't forget this because this was only a couple hours ago, but, uh, from what he told me, the reason why it's level 50 is, as far as he knows, is because, um, considering the 
the levels later in this set and how they're longer and you know take up more of a map. I guess it's level 50 because it's smaller. Uh, but from the sound of it, I don't think the difficulty of that level was taken into consideration to the level level slots. So I guess it was just looked upon as an easy level because <clears throat> it was smaller. Uh, but I did get told, and this was actually, this is actually kind of unique information to know now, um, that uh, JB actually didn't wasn't in charge of the, the level ordering for the set. He said not have did it, did a good chunk of it, I guess. Um, which was again that was that that was kind of surprising. I expected. JB did most of the level assembling. But if Mad Hab did it, that's pretty cool too. I, I certainly can't complain about that. But he kind of told me like some other fun facts, because he's been watching this LP slowly but surely, and said that uh, he agrees that Niche is kind of an odd placement in the middle of that uh, chip travels section story bit from 67 to 75 how niche doesn't really have a placement in there so he agrees that that's an odd placement uh, so yeah it, it was really refreshing to get some answers to that I was really curious to why once upon a trouble door was level is level 50 in the set because that that thought never occurred to me until playing it again. You know, being on the CCLP4 staff and making a couple, you know, of my own level sets, you know, I've gotten used to proper level arrangements and proper proper level ordering. So playing through this again, it, it kind of gives me some, you know, some thoughts to like, oh, you know, why is this level... You know, why is this level 117? You know, I, I feel like, which is a legitimate, you know, statement. I, I am kind of curious to why this is level 117, but I'm sure it's going to be the same answer as the other, as the Once Upon a Trouble Door. And that, uh, he doesn't know. <clears throat> but I can kind of understand why this is, you know, ranked as such. And surprisingly, this level is pretty loose. Like, there's plenty of pop-up walls. Like, you can probably gather maybe another four or five blocks in here if they were available. <clears throat> but I'm glad there's only, you know, what's necessary. Okay, all that bridging just to a thief. Now we're going to go back and hopefully get to the exit. I'm going to wait one more cycle. There we go. That is Mice Are Good for Something by Pi Guy, which didn't take me as long as I thought. It only took me, oh wow, eight, eight minutes around so. Okay, so Obstacle Course is the next one, which is another uh, CCLP3 bold that I guess JB and Jeffrey worked on together. I mean, I'm part of the optimization chat, so I know these things. Um, where's the other one? Oh, there you are. Okay, let's get you down there. Yeah, I'm part of the optimization chat, so I, I know these little bits and whatever. Um, I'm not that active of a member of the staff. No, not the staff. The uh, optimization chat. <clears throat> I like this. I like this concept with guiding a bug with uh, toggle walls. Um,
Okay, this is actually... wait... Seriously? Okay. I'm glad that the bug doesn't die, but this is still kind of annoying regardless. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, I don't remember how to get through this. I know you have to go get more blocks out from the start, which I think is a pretty cool idea. Like, that's such an expectation. You know, you expect that this room has enough blocks, and it doesn't. I mean, I, there, there's two sides to the spectrum, in my, in my opinion. You can... E you can find out that you don't have enough and then restart, which is kind of unfortunate. But I can save this block. Okay, now I, now I really just need to get one. Which is kind of an, an annoying task, but I like this level. It's, it has a pretty, you know, pretty clever placement, um, and it's a ton of fun to play, like, no matter how you look at it. So, anyway, so I made a CSLP4 voting announcement tonight. It wasn't much of an, an announcement, per se, it was more... So, a reminder, that voting ends in a month, which if this video is up on the day I ex am expecting it to be up, is exactly one month away. Um, hopefully getting some more votes will help us. So get your votes in. I think I stated that quite a bit in the podcast. Alright, so Elite, use what you've learned to lead you through your mini-challenges. I wonder if that's a pun on the level mini-challenges from three or four levels ago. I don't think it is, but that, it, that's just a random thought I had. So I think I need to go back and hit that button again. Yeah, this is a pretty long level. Um, I do like this level's time limit, though. It's pretty straightforward. Can a time limit be straightforward? I don't know. I think I'm still in that, that process of reviewing, because that, that was basically what we were doing in the podcast. Like, we were, we were providing our inputs and opinions on whatever levels were mentioned. Um, and it, it kind of got down to, like, a mass a massive review session. Like, oh, well, here's my review on this level. Okay, where the heck is the toggle button? I forget. This ice section is pretty cool, though. Okay, gotta get more to get this blue key and then get these. <clears throat> I just now remembered that there is still a question I didn't get answered in the podcast or before the podcast happened. And that is a uh, like the level rankings. 
I'm going to have to probably personally ask JB this. Because, I mean, like, it's information I don't necessarily need to know, but it's super helpful. Like, not really helpful, but it's like, it's really insightful to, you know, like, have all these, you know, questions about a set that you really weren't around when it was being made, and even when it was released, I wasn't around. So it it and it's been around you know for seven years now or going on seven years. So you know I can't help but feel you know just a, you know, a little bit curious to how this level set was arranged, how you know the you know, the whole backstory because ever since JVLP CCLP three, I've been super curious like on the you know history of this set's making. It's just all. It's always nice to know. I was around when CCLP one voting was around, and I'll have these same, you know, questions. Are you kidding me? I waited for the fireball to go. I don't. I don't know why it didn't go. That was its moving turn. But yeah, whenever JBLP CCLP one. Um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the same, you know, general questions to ask. <clears throat> Just about that set instead. And I'm sure whenever I LPC selfie four, uh, which won't be right away when it see when it comes out, because I want to give people time to. You know, play the set themselves. Maybe, maybe get some records on CCLP4. You know, let some optimizers establish some records on the set. You know, just let let the community have some fun with it before anyone LPs it, or at least myself LPs it. But yeah, whenever I do LP it, because I do plan on doing that at some point, whenever it, you know, well after it's released. Uh, I'll probably do the same thing. I could always I could have always gotten those chips later, but oh well. I want to say no. I I need that pressed right now. Yeah, I like this little blue wall section. It it, it does kind of stand out with the level, but. This level is not really meant to have one specific kind of theme going on for it. It's meant to be a pretty long campaign level. But you know, there's quite a few of these at, at this point in the set. Well, not really a few, but this was pretty good. Apparently this was the third highest rated level in CCLP3 voting, which is... A thing I didn't know. Okay, so press that. Okay, so let's not die by a fireball this time. That wasted a good, you know, five minutes or so. See, that's around the time I waited. I don't know. I don't understand why it didn't wait. Oh well. Okay. I don't agree with that red button underneath the block. 
I, I really don't. But this part is pretty cool. It's kind of like a little block shuffling type area. Which is nice, you know, I, I can't complain about this. This is, I believe, a, de uh, a Bowman level. Or Derek Bowser level. Oh man, I was really getting thirsty. I don't want to have another incident where my throat's sore for four days. <sighs> okay, now that that's all done, I can get this yellow key, and we can move on. Okay. So I know that's there. Normally I would consider that hidden information, but I personally think that red key under the block is obvious at this point in the level. Because, I mean, you really don't have a lot of options. Another pretty awesome ice section, which is always good. Probably, it looks like a pain to optimize an MS, but that's besides the point. And here we have a ball section that I don't really like. It's very uh, nerve-wracking with the timing. But I'm out of there, I don't have to deal with that anymore, so now let's move on. Get back to the exit, because I, I don't even remember the tank, con the wall configuration. Oh. I don't remember the, I don't remember the wall configuration to this. Or the toggle wall configuration, duh. <clears throat> I want to say if that one up there is open, then the one I need to go through is closed. So that should be the right configuration. I hope that's the right configuration because once I get go through this again, I can't go back or get back. So I'm hoping that's the right configuration. If it's not, oh, I don't even want to think about it. I just hope it's the right one. Yes, it was the right one. Thank goodness. If I had to replay that again from the start, that would have sucked. But I didn't, so that's complete. That is Elite. Now on to Twisted Chambers. <clears throat> so this is another level I used the walls of for a for the CCLP3 competition or create competition from about a year about a year ago. I used this level's walls to make a level called Tropical Huskabus. I think that's how you say it. It's basically this level with all these opposing force floors and water, and there's pink balls moving back and forth on the opposing force floors. I like I like how the level turned out. It's a pretty fun level. Okay, I can't make that explosion delay mess that screwed me over. Okay, let's just keep you down here. So apparently this level has a pretty but pretty big bust that I never realized in my initial CCLP3 LP. 
And the traps are connected horizontally, but that this whole trap puzzle can be ignored. Which I think is kind of funny. And it's honestly kind of a shame too, because this trap puzzle is pretty cool. So I know I need to get... I'm going to get this one held down and then get that one. So basically, you basically have to go through this whole thing again. But this is so much faster to go through twice than it is that trap section. So basically you just go down here and I want to say you, you have to go back this way and hit that and I think it doesn't, I'm going to keep the teeth right there anyway just in case. And I want to say you can just go ahead and yeah, do that. Pretty dis disappointing that you can skip that entire puzzle. That, that's honestly a shame. I would be pretty upset, but uh, it's not my level. But the, it's really unfortunate that that entire trap section is, is skipped. It, it's unfortunate that in that that it's a cool puzzle, but it's fortunate because you can skip it. It's just it's just one of those things, I guess. Unfortunately, you have to do this part, which... ...isn't easy. You have to time that. But yeah, the level Tropical Husk Abyss is a lot easier than this level. I don't know if that was a good idea to do. But we'll keep you down here. And bring you around up here. Oh wait, that, that was the right trap button. I wonder how you can even fix a bust like that, like this. down, go back to this, get this teeth, the, I guess right there is okay. Oh, maybe not, because teeth parody and links is stupid. Okay, moving on. That didn't take as long to get back to as I thought it would. This pop-up wall part is pretty awesome too. <clears throat> okay, now let's try to handle this a little better. Okay, good. So, I'm pretty, yeah, I have to push this down. 
have to push it right. Yeah, I don't remember the track of, that this takes. I think you, I think it's just straightforward from here on out. And down, 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 there. Uh, hmm. Just like that. Okay, so that's blown up. Now let's go hit this toggle button and move on to the last room. Just make it easy. Alright, so that is Twisted Chambers by J.B. Lewis. Pretty fun level. I, I, It was pretty easy to use the walls for this level to make that level, but uh, aside from this, this was a pretty cool level. I, It is unfortunate that that trap thing can be skipped, but I never noticed that until I watched the TWS file. All right, so Jaywalker. So one thing that's worth mentioning is that this level's placement, I guess, was intentional because one specific person in particular asked for level 121 to have teeth. I'm not entirely certain why, but it's kind of become a trend now because of this one person. I think this guy's name was Jacques, the guy that made... Uh, Blue Blocks and Asterisk, or Asterisk from CCLP1. Uh, I guess he asked for it to be, for this, to be level 1, or 1A teeth level, to be 121. Which is interesting, because that started a whole new trend that wasn't originally in the past CCLPs and official set, uh, CC1 and CCLP2. Because now this set uh, is... Oh, okay. Because this set has a teeth level for 121. Uh, CCLP1 has one as well. And even a few custom sets have followed this. I, I myself have followed this as well. It's kind of become a, a trend now. and it, It's just kind of funny how that started. Which I think is, is pretty interesting. But this is a pretty fun level. Uh, considering it's this late in CCLP3, this is a pretty fun level. It was, I guess this was a Mercy inclusion as well. Which I didn't know. I thought, I thought of, of all the Mercy inclusions, I didn't think this would be one of them. Because this is pretty fun to play. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure CCLB4 is going to follow the trend as well with having a teeth level for 121. Um, I don't know. We might break the trend because I mean I don't know. I don't know if we will or not. I don't think we will. Mo mostly because oh okay that was a little too close for comfort. There's all these teeth monsters. Over here, I need to get them out. Okay, that is the lowest amount of time I've ever taken. That is the most amount of time I've ever taken to solve this level. That was kind of stupid how long that took. But it's a fun level anyway. Uh, but yeah, CSL before is going to have a teeth level for 121 as well. I I'm pretty sure it's safe to say because we're going to be following the obvious trends like the. 
you know, 147 being an ultra difficult level, you know, 148 being kind of like a what the hell level, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, there's all those special level trends, which I think make Chip's Challenge, you know, pretty awesome. How it's like that. Like, it has like these little special quirks and level, intentional level placements that make, make the game pretty unique. So, gotta keep the trend going because in honor to the original game. So Manic Depression, I'm at 35 minutes. Uh, I think I'll play this. The good thing about playing... Th okay, here's a good thing about playing this in Lynx. I don't have to worry about cross-checking. Because usually in MS, you... If you follow the block immediately, you end up getting it stuck in, cor in the in a corner most of the time. Here, I can just keep holding the button to get past the bomb. Clone a block and maneuver it. <clears throat> Pretty cool so far with these. Yeah, I had like a whole list of things to talk about. And I think I've talked about them already. Ugh. Okay, so this is where things get a little interesting. You have to use very specific ways to partial post to continue. And here you have to use a tank to, to do it. Um... I know Tyler made a level in TCCLP Rejects uh, that s specifically had this mechanism, but apparently is not solvable in links. So we'll hold that down. And the good thing is the tank is always going to move up no matter what. So now we can go out. And over here, just make those appearing. Yeah, this is the, that unique wall pattern, the thin wall pattern I was talking about. And this is ridiculous. Like, really? Well, this is a, this is something I've never had to, had to deal with. Too close, too close, too close, too close. Okay, hopefully we'll have some better luck with that blob. Oh, are you kidding me? That was a long enough wait for that, I'm so sure. <clears throat> Okay, thankfully I don't have to fill in any more water spaces. And just keep going. So what can I talk about? I probably should have stopped the video because uh... Oh, did I really... I'm stupid. Why did I press that? That was another long enough wait. Seriously, Splash Delay? There. Yeah, the reason why I chose to play this right now is mostly because of the upcoming levels. The one after this is fairly long. It's another Pie Guy block level.
and uh, the one after that is a pretty, you know, it's a variety level, but linear, and then the one after that is the best level. Okay, gotta wait for all these bugs <clears throat> and move on. And I kind of I want to get this level done and over with right now, just so I can move on. Are you serious? Come on, this blob is being really stupid right now. Are we twice now? Okay, now it goes all the way to the left. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, now I'm panicking because I don't know about what this paramecium is going to freaking do. Okay, I probably could have made that. I need, I need to see what this blob's up to. Okay, it's way over there. Now I gotta wait for these bees. Yeah, I'm calling them bees because Tyler made a joke about bees earlier. Okay, I think I can get that now. Alright. So something happened when I was playing this in MS. Somehow, a fireball came through here and killed me. And I do not know how. Like, I am completely stumped to how that even happened. The only fireball in this level is the one by the tank. At least, I'm pretty sure that's the only fireball. So how it got out of that and got into that corridor to kill me is beyond me. I posted the death on CC Zone, so no one's really commented on what could have caused that. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh. Alright, so that's Manic Depression done. And I have a friend request on Facebook by some random person that I don't know, so I'm going to ignore it. And we're at 4 million points, finally. Not that I'm keeping track of that or anything. I am going to submit these link scores when I'm done LPing this, though. And same thing with CCLP1. Since I have a CCLP2 link score now, it only makes sense. And with that, I'm going to end the video right here. Because I have to go to the bathroom pretty bad now. So, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. I, I know I was kind of quiet. I thought I had more, more to talk about than what I did. But apparently that wasn't the case, so hopefully it was still an enjoyable video. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time to play some investment. When I will invest some more of my time playing this level set. So see you guys later.